Hey everyone, Dr. King here with another how-to video. Okay, wait. Hey everybody. No. Hey everyone, Dr. Emily King here with another video on, no. Hey everyone, Dr. Emily King here with another how-to video. No. Hey everyone, can you tell us the 15th time I've done this? <laughs> hey everyone, Dr. Emily King here with a video on how to get a sleeping respiratory rate on your pet. Firstly, I should mention for our how-to videos, I typically will be hands-on with a patient, but because we need these patients sleeping, shh, I decided that it might be best to film them separately. So we typically use a sleeping respiratory rate as a metric to monitor the progress and the status of patients that we have in congestive heart failure. A sleeping respiratory rate should always be less than 30 breaths per minute. One of the important aspects of taking a sleeping respiratory rate, probably the most important aspect, is the patient is actually sleeping, which means that at night when they go to bed is typically when you want to measure the sleeping respiratory rate. I find the easiest way to take a sleeping respiratory rate um, to look at the patient's rib cage, and then I count the breaths for 10 seconds, and then I multiply by six. Easy math. So for example, say the patient took four breaths in 10 seconds. I would multiply that by six and get 24. So he has a sleeping respiratory rate of 24 breaths per minute. For this patient, as you watch him breathe, if you focus on his rib cage, you'll be able to count his ins and outs. So as he's pulling air in and pushing air out, that is one breath. So keep in mind the most important factors when monitoring or tracking um, or counting basically a sleeping respiratory rate is the patient needs to be asleep at night, not taking a nap during the day. And we also need those breaths per minute. So a minute long. Thanks for watching this episode of How To Videos. If you have some ideas of other how-to videos, don't hesitate to reach out and let us know. We'll see you next time.